player review today. Jeremy Doku, foot birthday, 86 rated right winger, or comes out of pack as a right mid, but you're going to play him right wing. Trust me, you're going to want to get the most out of this card as you can. He is incredible in game. If you did not watch Euro 2020, I would recommend you look up the Italy versus Belgium highlights because this guy was doing absolute bits the entire game. He was, he, he was like Vinny. Player of the month when he first came out in real life. It was insane. He was doing the most mad dribbling stats, most mad dribbling I've ever seen. And this card definitely does that performance and this player justice because I can tell you this card is is a must have in your squad, especially for like 26K. I think I, I, I bought him for 35 or something yesterday, sold him today for like 26. He is insane. He has a four star skills, five star weak foot, and the man is just, he's cracked. He is so cracked. He gets into the most crazy positions. He doesn't really miss in front of goal. He is extremely fast and he's extremely short. Short is the meta this year. If you've if you've come against Emilio Butragueño, prime or mid, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Butragueño, I think it's like five, six in this game. And he is just an absolute demon because when players are short in this game, there's something that just goes jammy with the code where you can't seem to lock on with your defenders because they're just too small. It's so annoying. And this guy was like the same thing. I would get the ball. I would hold I would hold R1, hold sprint, not even, I would just, I don't even hold anything. I would just spin the left stick and no one would be able to find, no one oh, yeah! would be able to get the ball off me. It was so much fun. And also, I feel like... I want to say that people were bummed that this card didn't have five-star skills. I think if this card had five-star skills, it'd be a lot more expensive, but I don't think it would be that much better. If that, that It's a weird thing to say, but I don't, I thought, that's what I truly believe. I think five-star weak foot suits this card so much more because think about it like this, boys. Skills can definitely get you in a better shooting position. That is true. If you have five-star skills as opposed to four-star skills, or if you have four-star skills as opposed to three-star skills, you can get into better attacking positionings so you can compensate for the poor shooting stat correct yes but the five star weak foot gets you in a better position more often because instead of having to be super jammy with skills instead of having to rely on the good gameplay you can get into the box first time fake shot go either way you can turn your back on the ball edge of the d edge of the 18 yard box and just turn either way fake one way go the other turn the turn this turn left the first time score on his left then fake turn to his left and go to the right and the player jumps because he has five star weak foot he can hit it on both feet it, it, it's 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 a mind game it's an absolute mind game but let's take a look at these in-game stats boys he's got 96 pace but he's got 98 acceleration that is the biggest that is what you look for in these kind of cards you look for high acceleration high acceleration is so so key so key for the first step left stick dribbling in general the the change of speed especially when you're sprinting or when you stop sprinting and you're just dribbling pretty slowly and then you can do the little speed boost where you hold l1 release it and then press the sprint button and jolt forward it worked really well it works very well with this card and i did say the shooting stats were poor but that's has nothing to do with his in-game performance. His performances in-game were incredible. He hit the post a couple of times, but everyone hits the post. It, it's foot champs, things happen, you know? But he, he's very good. Look at those stats, 91 attack positioning, 90 shot power, and that's pretty much all you, that's all you need. He, that's all you need, boys. Power and attack positioning and five-star weak foot. His finishing is a bit low, but it, it didn't really seem to affect him because once again, he was able to get in such good positions because of the weak foot. His passing was actually pretty good. 87 short passing is very good for a winger, especially when you're cutting in, cutting, both parallel with the with the goal line and trying to sweat it back. I know you guys sweaty rats. You guys love the tramp goals, but that he does a very good job at that. Not I use him as a cam mostly just so I can get the most use out of him strangely. But I think the best position for him would be down the wing actually. Either wing because he is five star weak foot. It allows for versatility in the playing of the card. He gets good links as well, Belgian and from Ligun. Ligun has a lot of good links. He doesn't get a lot of strong links necessarily because his club is. I don't even know if there's another player from there's like La La Borde or something, the striker, the French striker that was strong link. But I don't think you guys want to be using him in March, honestly, when there's a free Tommy Abraham SP uh, objective out that's absolutely cracked. He's only the free Zlatan. But this Jeremy Doku card can also link with what, who? De Bruyne. Who else is Belgian? Hazard. Hazard doesn't have a good card this year, really, though. But definitely there will be some a lot of Belgian players that come, Carrasco, stuff like that. And taking a look at the dribbling stats, I said the pace was crazy. I said the shooting was good, but this is where it, it hits another level. It just hits another level. Remember, he's 5'7", he has 97 agility and 96 balance and 94 dribbling. Are you kidding me? Those are the only stats that matter. I don't care what his reactions are. If he's, he's got 80 composure, it doesn't matter if he's composed, mate. The guy is going to just walk the ball into the net every time. He's so fast, he's so agile. He is an absolute demon. Also, 
stamina is a bit low. A bit low. Don't get me wrong. It is a bit in a, It's a bit in a, That's the only complaint I have. He gets tired. He does get tired. Combined with the low stamina, if he was just like a, a number nine, a, a true striker that was just getting in the box, shooting, passing, stuff like that, the stamina wouldn't be as big of an issue. But since he is a left stick dribbling rat guy, just an absolute demon on the ball, absolute silky mad lad, <laughs> he gets tired real quick. It's like the 65th minute, 50, 55th minute. This guy's so tired because I've just been spamming, spamming left stick with him the entire time trying to score. And it's honestly bad that I was doing that. But honestly, I had, had to had to try out the card and and just show you guys that this does happen. And But I think it's worth it. He was scoring so many goals. Honestly, he was getting a lot of assists for me because I was playing him cam. Look at the player traits. He's got flair and speed dribbler. Those are two very good traits. I wish he had... Uh, Actually, I don't even know what I wish he had. I think he, I wish he had like a long shot taker, or a shooting trait, or something like that outside the foot shot, maybe. But Flair is still a good trait, and definitely these traits definitely suit his play style as being a a dribbling player, a left stick dribbler, and someone that is really going to cause issues for left backs and right backs because that's where I think you should play on left wing or right wing. Depending on who you have in your squad, I don't think there's really a, I don't have a preference either which way. His strong foot is technically his right foot if you really want to play him on the left so you can cut inside or you want to play him on the right. It doesn't matter because the five-star weak foot. But uh, I think you definitely want to play him situationally paired with your other winger. So if you have Messi, obviously you're going to play Doku on the left because Messi's going to play on the right, cut inside, and score on his left. But if you have someone... Like Neymar, Neymar, I feel like just plays better on the left. I don't know if you want to play him centrally or if you play Mbappe out on the left, you want to play this guy on the right, you want to play Mbappe on the right, this guy on the left. It doesn't matter. You can change up your squad any which way. And I think it would be a great, great card. Once again, this is one of the best value cards I've seen this year. I saw, We always talk a lot about the high value SBCs because... There are certain SBCs where you see it and you're like, that is a deal. That is an absolute snag. And then the opposite is true. You see an SBC and you want to cry because it is giving you PTSD to a team with your honorable mention, Sabitzer from FIFA 21. That was, I think, like 600K and his team of season was like 50, like two months later. But, you know, we're not, don't, don't, get, don't even get me started. But this card, insane value, insane value on the market. We rarely see insane value like this on the market. And I think he is a, he's a must grab. You guys have legal teams. I know you do. You guys have Messi, you have Neymar, you have Mbappe, stuff like that. You're not going to get a lot of strong links maybe, but it's not that hard to get Kem on a right winger. You can, he only has two links, icon, soft link, icon, icon, and then right winger. It's not that hard. It's actually very simple, but that's really going to do it boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time for some more FIFA content.